Rob, obviously a, a big deal for, for Ryan to get that new deal and new contract. How impressed have you been with him this year? Yeah, been, been impressed with him. He's been good. We knew what Gilo's qualities were last year. Obviously worked with him when he came on loan to Telford and he did really well for us. And um, to be honest, he was a big part in, in our good run of form towards the end of the season. And he's carried that on, you know, he, he went with the first team in pre-season and did really well. And he's, uh, his attitude's been very good and he's worked hard and uh, his performances have, have merited the new contract. What does he need to do now to keep progressing? Keep working hard, keep focused. Um, doesn't have to change what he's doing, but keep improving. He's, um, he's on the right track, but there's always lots of lots more room for improvement. He's only 18 years old, so he, uh, he's still got a long way to go. Um, he's got to keep running backwards as quickly as he runs forwards. And, um, and he knows that as well. But if he values all that stuff, the stuff that's maybe not as glamorous, then, um, then he'll do well. But keep, um, just keep going at the moment, keep working hard. Ryan, congratulations. How did it feel to get it all sorted? Um, it was a, a bit of a relief. Obviously, it's nice for the club to do that for me. As you know, they, they've said it is a, is a reward for how I've been performing on and off the pitch. So it, it, was a, it was a great feeling. Do you feel like you've earned it, though, in what you've done in the past? Not just this season, but the back end of last season out on loan as well. Um, I wouldn't, not necessarily. I think I've, I've done well. I think obviously for them to give me the reward, it, for the reward like this is very, very nice. And I do, I really do appreciate it. And I think it's a chance for me, to, for them to say, listen, we do believe in you and we do want you to push on here. And I think now it's my turn to prove to them that they have made the right decision. So I wouldn't say, uh, yes, maybe I do. I, I feel like there's yes and no, you know what I mean? I do deserve it. Maybe I don't, you know what I mean? But I just keep, keep my feet on the floor and just keep working hard. Is that a part of your character that you don't want to feel like you've earned anything yet because you've not made it to where you want to be? Of course, yeah. I think everyone wants, everyone wants to play for the first team in the Premier League. I haven't done that as yet, so I, I'm always going to keep my feet on the ground. Until I'm at that stage, I don't think I am in a position where I can say, yes, I've, I'm, you know what I mean? I've made it. So definitely. I was going to say, what is the ambition now that you've got this little bit of security, but it gives you room to try and push to be where you want to be? Yeah, exactly. The ambition for me is to obviously try and get into the first team. I want to just keep, just keep playing, keep, keep grabbing them opportunities when they come. Obviously, I had, I had so many opportunities in pre-season. I thought I took them very well, and I learned, I learned a lot. And I think it, coming away from it, it's made me a better player. So, just to keep working hard, keep, keep grabbing them opportunities when they come, and keep trying to prove to the manager and the hierarchy staff that I am capable. Because you've done it in pre-season, you got close to doing it in the League Cup this year. What would it mean to you to get that? full senior appearance in a wall shirt oh it, it'd mean the world i've been at the club for 10 years now and it's come just coming over 10 years so for all that hard work all the way through the academy at the end of it you, you do want to put on that gold shirt and represent the club so it's, for that to happen would be absolutely amazing maybe it's i'm a bit of a way yet but I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that and i think i've just got to keep proving and just keep taking the opportunities like i've said